Hello. Hi. What's up? Not much. Just trying to wake up. Guess what? what? We're back freaking home. Yeah. And I'm back to life. Yeah. I don't know where I'm at. I don't know what projects I'm currently working on. I have 40 projects to finish. You do. I have two projects of yours to finish. Yes. And I didn't write a list before I left and I drank too many mimosas and I can't remember anything. I can help you out. What's project number one? Barry. We don't have a new turbo in for you, I don't think. The wrong car. Barry Allen. That's I said your... Barry. I understand. Bobby, we don't have your side skirts in yet. Can't. Honey, we can still work on my car. Oh. Hello, friends. Welcome back to the channel. Finally back in Spokane. We flew in last night and I don't have my seatbelt on. Don't roast me. Um. This is the problem. Bobby, I have so many cars to my, to my own, but I have to work on yours first. It's not my problem that you have 20 different cars. Barry has been in line for almost a century now. So, let me help you guys out with a little trick, okay? There's this thing that you that's called vacation mode. It's hard to enter, but once you enter vacation mode, when you're on vacation, wow, I see the homeless population grew a little bit. Once you enter vacation mode, it's extremely hard to get out of vacation mode. But let me show you guys how to effectively and efficiently exit vacation mode. It takes a little bit of R&D and planning before you leave. Basically what you want to do is you take your wallet, you take all your money in your wallet and on your cards, and you spend it all. So when you get home, you have a shit ton of work to do, and you get excited about it. That's a good idea. Let's go pop in the shop and let's take out a, take out a look at this new package we got. Holy... Shit. That's huge. Holy shit. Bro, I need a bigger shop. I didn't know it was that big. Why is it so long? Or is it on its side? I think it just sits like this. Here, hold this for me. Are you sure it, it doesn't? This is map, this is big. Come to this side. Here, you got a pamphlet. Pamphlet, they have a pamphlet. Oh yeah, I ripped that out. It's just the specs. I'll show you guys what this is later, okay? What? I, I have a boner in God. What? We gotta move it around first. This thing weighs 1,100 pounds. Bro, getting it off the gate, so it wouldn't actually fit on the... Yeah, he called me about it. Yeah, I don't know if he saw us trying to get it off. All right, let's see how good you are. Pull her out. Pull this thing out? Pull it out, boy. No way. Hey, just drive it out. <laughs> You gotta learn someday, son. We gotta train Jared into driving the big trailer. You're good. Hammer down. <laughs> good job, Jared. There we go. So it just so happens that I ordered so many car parts, we need the 26 foot enclosed to go to the house and pick them all up. You trying to drive to the house? I thought you were about to make me. God, bro. Are you, are you nervous? Yeah, this thing's huge. Look at you, certified. I'm gonna need practice backing up, but I think we got her. This is all car parts. <laughs> All right, before I show you guys what is in our massive, massive boxes, I have a very important announcement and we've been working on this for a little bit now. MEP and myself have officially partnered up and we have created a link that you guys can use. I would highly recommend just bookmarking this link and what this link does is it's gonna give you 5% off for every single product that qualifies for a discount because there's some that do not. It'll automatically give you 5% off so you do not need to enter in a discount code which I also do have, I'll put on the screen. But I would highly recommend just bookmarking this link, okay? Throw it on the screen. I'll have it down in the description box below as well. It'll automatically apply that 5% off discount code. And I know that's not a huge discount, but when you're ordering lots of parts to build cars like that, 5% off adds up to hundreds, if not thousands of dollars over time, especially if you have multiple builds going on. Figure I'd let you guys know. Now, let's open up this big thing that is much bigger than we anticipated. We're here to put everything. Ready? 
God damn, that's a big old girl. <laughs> Holy shit. Jeez. Oh, oh my God. Bro, you wanna go in it? See, you could. I wanna see the inside of this. Oh. Sheesh. I can literally put it, give him a tour of the inside of this thing. Walk on in. Bro, thumbnail has to be you sitting inside of the oven. I will. So after many, many, many years of using this hunk of shit, we finally got a new, we finally got a new oven. And we didn't just upgrade, we upgraded to the best possible oven we could possibly get. Let's get this thing chilling in the shop. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we gotta figure it out. And then I'll give you guys a tour of this built in America oven. You wanna get powder coated, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so scary, bro. <laughs> right. Let me let me give her a hell. You wanna turn it on real quick? <laughs> oh, there's four of them. Oh yeah, they're just four. Damn. It's like four little oven things, four little burners. I need to stop drinking beer and ordering shit. So I knew I was gonna order an oven, guys. And the one I was gonna get is exactly, I think, half that size. And I was at the lake drinking beer, and I said, you know what? I'm just gonna order the big one. The biggest one they got. And I kinda regret it, because it takes up my whole shop. They don't even know what this is yet. Watch this. Holy shit, dude. Bro, I can fit humans in this thing. That is massive. It's a two person. <laughs> you gonna get, get bored, switch to the other side? <laughs> this is so obnoxious. I can fit so many subframes in this thing. If you needed anything power coded, don't hit me up.
All right, guys, we have a ton of stuff set up. I keep rearranging the shop and how I want all of this new equipment set up. But here we have the new, this is a Scat Blast 985 model. And as you can see, it's freaking massive. Of course, the main goal and the main thing I can never sandblast and powder coat here myself before was like subframes and sway bars, all that kind of stuff that are super long. So this is gonna take care of all of that. I don't really know how long it is, but it's long enough to do anything I'll ever need to do. We put the hydraulic jack here. Here's the tire mounting equipment. Toolbox got pushed down a little bit. And now I'm trying to decide what I wanna do with the oven. So I initially had the front door over on this side, and then I decided I want the door to swing open this way just so we could put some stuff over here, have a car here. But now the problem is our rack that we purchased with the oven does not fit in between the hoist and the frame of the oven. So I either need to push this whole thing all the way down or rotate it back this way. I'm trying to decide exactly how I want all this set up. It was nice to have this little bit of storage right here, but I don't know if that's gonna, well, of course it's not gonna work. So let's, uh, let's see what we can figure out here. All right, so for tonight, this is what I ended up with. The vinyl wrap rack went on this wall over here. Oven front door is now here. I am gonna keep the small oven as well, just for smaller parts. We don't have to heat up the giant oven. And then we have like the engine hoist and all that over there. Redid some things on this wall here. So we can definitely fit two cars over here if need be. And we can still fit like four cars right here. Still a ton of space in the shop. I know the blaster and the oven are both massive, but we're making do. Gonna pick this back up tomorrow, do a little bit more organizing here in the shop and try to just get it perfect, exactly how I want it. So we'll be good to go for a while. Well, 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 it is the next day and we got the blaster all plumbed for the air. I'm gonna go ahead, turn this thing on and see how she works. Now the oven on the other hand, we have to wait until Sunday to get this thing properly wired. I don't wanna do it myself. I'm probably gonna burn it up. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have someone come in Sunday, get that thing all wired up, and maybe we can, we can powder coat some wheels or something on Sunday or Monday. But for now, let's give this thing a shot. Now I do not have the vacuum set up yet because there's a separate bag or a filter that we had to buy, but dang, this thing is freaking insane. Oh yeah, we definitely need a vacuum. This sway bar is powder coated as well. And the sandblast powder coat off is hard. It's pretty difficult, but it was coming off surprisingly. Now, of course we do still have the strip tank. So the proper method would be put it in the strip tank, strip the powder coat off, slap it in the blaster, give that nice profile that you need for powder coat and then repowder coat it. So I'm probably just gonna go through the whole process on the sway bar whenever the oven is wired up this weekend, which is very, very exciting. I'm gonna strip it, blast it, powder coat it in the new oven because that would not fit in our old oven. And that is the Evo 10 Perrin rear sway bar. I think it's a 20, two or 24 mil. So here's one last look at the oven. I got it from builtamericaequipment.com. I will link this thing down below if you guys wanna pick one up as well. We can fit like 80 wheels in here, which is pretty nice. And I will go ahead and link the sand blaster down in the description box below. It's the Scat Blast. I got this on eBay actually, and this was not terribly expensive. I know the ovens are pretty expensive, but I have some good news for you guys. If you want to save some money on a powder coat oven, you can use my code Devin Nimala and I'll save you 5% off, which is going to add up quite a bit on this giant piece of equipment. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Peace out, my friends. I will see you guys in the next video.